Hi everyone, this is the E-mini S&P 500 Futures. I'm using a 2000 tick chart and a 21 EMA. I've got my overnight high up here and my overnight low down here. These are our key levels for the day. So I started trading at eight central time, which is this area right here. And notice that we have this sharp push down before making a break and then pushing down, attempting to make a new low down to where I started trading right here. And this first leg down is made up of these two legs, just like on this break right here, it's made up of these two legs, but on a bigger picture, you have one leg on each because price action gets bigger picture as more time goes on. So, you know, at first you have this little uptrend break and then a push to a new high. So this uptrend is played out with a break and a new high and then price starts attempting to reverse back down. When on a bigger picture, this trend playing out is the break and then you're pushing down to a new low for this downtrend. So when we start pushing up right here, very soon after I started, we start pushing on up here and we're clearly making a two-legged break at this point. You know, we're pushing down to a new low, but when we suddenly start pushing up, it, that's when it's clear we're forming a bigger picture failed second entry. So starting from the top, it's first entry long, second entry long, and then we can look for the failure up here. So it's just a failed second entry, but much bigger picture. So we continue that push up here, and we start finding resistance before we actually reach the measured move now. And when that happens, you still have two clear legs at this point, so it could just reverse on down from there. It's not always gonna reach the measured move. It's, it could very easily just push into a reversal pattern. You know, and that would have been great. If it pushes into a reversal pattern, a nice failed second entry from here, you know, push below the EMA with two legs back, holding onto it, then, you know, we could find a great short there. It doesn't always need to reach that measured move. You know, when you have two clear legs, that'll be enough. But in this case here, it doesn't do that. It finds some support here and then has a sharp push up and it finds resistance right at that previous high. So that's when this range right here, not this one, but this one right here becomes a little bit more clear. And so we push lower here and we find support. And now from here, we're forming this two legged move up. We make this second entry short right up to that measured move level. So not only is it just any measured move level, it's a big picture failed second entry. We have two legs up with a nice bearish reaction right off of it. And we've also been chopping right through that EMA. So I, of course, did not care about entering into the EMA there. And we push on lower here, but then we find support right here. Now, you obviously don't wanna push your target past that just in case it does, but considering it found support and then just shot all the way back up, what that's telling me is that this failed second entry, this big picture one might not be as strong as it looks. You know, this looks like a very big picture trade and it is, but you know, it just, you don't get the, it doesn't do that big on push down. You know, it just stays within this trend right here. And so basically considering that, it seems like we're going into an uptrend. Now, it kind of just stays choppy at this point. We push on up, we get this push back down. It starts getting into this little congestion right there. But then here we actually push on up and then we get this sharper push down. Now this is the clearer, the much clearer attempt at a new low for this downtrend because this is the first big reaction to this measured move. At first we had these reactions, but it was just staying within this chop right here. It was staying within this range. This one actually had a clear breakout, faded back in and offered the strongest move. Of course, it ended up not going very far, which I'm gonna delete this because I, I'm just kind of extending this one to where it was anyway. And so when we get this push down right here, we get these two legs down, right there it's obviously still within this channel right here you don't want to enter right into that but the main thing is you don't want to enter long right into that after coming off of this major measured move and it's finally starting to get a good push down and so what you'd want to see is a break and then a, n a couple attempts down to this key entry point because obviously there's just not enough room to do that within this range for a long so after the break i would want to see two clear legs down off the key entry point for a long because again, coming off this major, you know, measured move level, this key entry, this um, failed second entry, you want to see two legs down and you only have this one, a small little break, push to a new low and then a rush back above. You know, it could very easily tick above right there, which I of course don't like going long here. It could easily just tick above and then make a second bigger leg down. And considering that you're coming off of this major failed second entry, that would make perfect sense. So I did not like going long right there. And so anyway, we push on up here, we find some resistance at that high, we end up pushing down and then pushing on through it here. 
and then let me just extend this here. Notice that from here, from the attempt to reverse, we have this bigger picture failed second entry, not as big picture as this, but it's still pretty big picture failed second entry that's forming. And then we rush above the EMA, breaking out of this range right here. Now, I didn't like how much it was fading in and it was just clearly not holding above the EMA. It was much more bearish setting up than bullish. And so with this you know, sloping move down, I just did not want to enter into that. It does end up working on up there. <clears throat> it pushes on higher. So now we have this uptrend, break, and then a push to a new high. Now when an uptrend has a break and a new high, you can expect prices to attempt to reverse. Now we get these two pushes down here. It's pretty choppy, but you can still see that you have two legs down. And then those are the two attempts to reverse before pushing higher there. Now there's no clear entry there. You know, you don't want to enter on this higher low because, you know, it's clearly very choppy right there, right after making a new high. You know, you can expect a reversal after making a new high. And you did get those two attempts, but, you know, I'm just saying that's that's not a very significant attempt. You can, you know, that's clearly one leg on a bigger picture. So what could happen is you take this higher low right after making a new high into this chop right here, and then it just ticks higher, reaches this, and then pushes into a second leg down. That could very easily happen. And so no way would I want to go long there. But it does end up pushing on up here. Sorry, let me just put that back. We reach that measured move. Starts getting very choppy here. Now, keep in mind, yeah, you can still look to reach that measured move after it makes the new high. But in this case here, you just don't get a setup for it. What I'd like to see is something like this with two legs back, but actually holding above the EMA and with clear legs, not choppy legs. So we push on up here. We start getting choppy right before reaching that measured move, kind of like what happened um, a little bit earlier where it found some resistance early. Sometimes that's going to happen. And then we push on up, almost reach it. It's clearly like it's trying to break out of this chop right here and then a fade back in, although it is still basically within it here. Drag it to those bodies. It's a little bit more clear that it's trying to break out there. Um, and so anyways, we push back lower here, starts getting choppy. There's no longs in here. I mean, it's just straight sideways. There's, of course, nothing to enter on. You don't want to take this long breaking out of this range right here. You know, also it's right into that measured move. So it could very easily just bounce right off of it and get stopped out. But it does end up pushing on up here and then it overshoots this whole channel. And so overshoots tend to lead to breaks. As soon as it overshoots, it starts going into this downturn right here. It starts spiking down. And notice we get this push down. What could have happened was we get a reversal pattern because in an uptrend, you can get a reversal pattern down and they're particularly good after an overshoot because overshoots lead to breaks. And even though this initial big picture failed second entry didn't work, when it makes an overshoot and starts pushing down right there, that's an opportunity to get in on that second big picture leg down. You know, it can still attempt a big leg down even though the initial failed second entry didn't pop off, you know, there's still all of this room for it to have a correction and make another leg down. And so this is a great place for a reversal pattern. It just doesn't form one. Yeah, it would have just been great to, you know, a nice push down with a couple legs back, forming a good failed second entry. Um, yeah, could have gotten a nice short there, but it just didn't form. So anyway, we push on lower here. I kind of wish I didn't draw that whole, whole thing out there because now I have to delete it. Um, we push on lower here, small break. It, you know, it doesn't really matter. Break, new low. It's still part of the same move on a slightly bigger picture. We have this push down, starts getting choppy, and then we get this break. This is the clear break, not this right here. This whole thing right here is one move down before we get a break. And then price pushes down to a new low and starts getting choppy, starts finding some support, getting into this range right here. At first, it's like that, as you can see, and then we break out, fade back in. And then as we got this breakout, I kind of extended it to see how it holds. Um, but usually when you extend the highs of range, you want to see a bigger push down. But as soon as it reached it, it started chopping like crazy in that area. So it seemed still seems valid right there. Um, so anyway, after the downturn played out, had a break, new low, couple legs up right there, you know, on that range, it pushed up, formed the range, and then on that breakout before the fade, you can still tell that there's two legs up right there. Um, and it is also off this key entry point. Now, you can look to get short here. Um, you do have to consider that you do still have this downtrend 
playing out downtrend break in a push to a new low so i would want a very small entry a clear entry but small um, i wouldn't want to have my stop all the way up here and ring down here when there's barely any room um, and the downtrend has already played out now we are in this wider downtrend but you still have to consider that price will attempt to reverse on these trends playing out even within wider ones because you have this uptrend that has a break and can expect price to attempt a new high so I, I wouldn't want to risk that or push price through this even though it's off this key entry point but anyway we push on lower here sharp push down make this double bottom it's very choppy no way that it's safe to enter especially right after coming off this downtrend you know we just push off of it very bearish and then it's just basically sideways chop so i certainly would not want to enter right into that but anyway we push on out here notice we get these couple legs up it starts to get choppy let me put this back where it was find resistance right here that's when this range is extended is a little bit more clear and then we get a breakout and then a fade back in and makes a double top of that previous um, swing right there we push on lower and now we have downtrend break push to a new low and then an attempt to reverse now when price is attempting to, re to reverse here we are also looking to make a new high for this uptrend right here so this is a great place for a failed second entry because it's a reversal pattern from this downtrend playing out making the new high for this uptrend so a failed second entry that holds above the EMA would be a great trade in this area but it just doesn't form and it just pushes on up like crazy with no correction to give us a failed second entry unfortunately and then it starts to get choppy up here sharp push on down now so now at this point we have this uptrend this break it's you know you can see it's a break with two legs basically this two-legged break right here and then that sharp push up to a new high now on the break right here you know the break from this first push up we can get we can start that second leg up and look to get in on it so say we get the break right here push up we can push into another failed second entry just from there um, and look to get in on that second leg I'm just explaining what could happen you know after price does certain things but in that case you know it just keeps on going down now if price were to form a failed second entry to go short so if price were to push lower and get two clear legs back you know say something like you know this right here then what we'd have is we would have an uptrend with a break and then two attempts at a new high so we would be able to look for a short if it sets up well it would have to set up well below the ema you know it'd have to be clearly not wanting to make that new high for this uptrend right here you know so you have to stick with what price is doing the ema is, is important what price is doing with the ema you know if it has a break and rushes back above then you're immediately going to want to start looking to get in on that second leg higher but if it rushes below and then you get a couple legs back and then it's you know even though it would get it would get back above the ema on the two legs back but if it starts pushing lower and it's clearly trying to it's not wanting to make a new high it's wanting to push on down then you look to get in on the failed second entry the other way um you know push lower a couple legs back with an entry pushing back below the ema then that would have been great but it just doesn't happen here it just pushes on down without that correction then here we get this correction but since there's not a whole lot of room to the ema you only have room for one leg you know you would need a couple legs back you would actually have to breed it would have to get through the ema to get a clear one now you can get two very smaller ones very small picture legs um and it would be you would be able to get a trade even from a trend like this on a break and if you get two small legs up it would just be a very small picture trade it wouldn't be it just wouldn't be like a bigger trade like one of these um but yeah i do like to take bigger trades i like to avoid very small picture stuff but you know i'm not saying it's invalid i'm just saying that i like to trade a little bit bigger picture because it's just better with you know my personality you know i don't have to i don't like to take a whole bunch of trades that are very small i just like to take a couple um you know bigger ones so you know if you get a couple legs up right there you can get a smaller short off that ema but you know i would want to see bigger picture legs to actually count as those attempts for this uptrend right here but anyway we push on lower here almost forms a double bottom right here it looks like it's starting to try to reverse it could literally just push into a reversal pattern from here you know spiking up make a clear failed second entry it could still do that um 
you know, some, something went crazy. It started just kind of out of nowhere, chopping up and down. I didn't go to the, I, I didn't check the news today, so I'm not sure what's going on, but, um, you know, something happened. It kind of just started going really fast out of nowhere. And anyway, that's going to do it for this video. I hope it helped out in some way and thanks for watching. I'll see y'all next time.